हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू फार्मा क्लासेस मैं हूं विशाल एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट डोनल मेम्ब्रेन इफेक्ट और डोनल मेम्ब्रेन इक्विलिब्रियम दैट इज आल्सो नोन एज गिब्स डोनल लॉ अब व्हाई वी कॉल इट डोनल लॉ और गिब्स लॉ बिकॉज़ दे बोथ द साइंटिस्ट वर्क टू सॉल्व दिस इक्विलिब्रियम इक्वेशन now we will just understand why there is a need to study donnan membrane equilibrium as we all know that the transportation or movement of molecules or ion take place through the membrane in our body or in the field of pharma it will talk about uh, most of the drugs are in ionic form and uh, the process of transportation from the stomach to the blood side is very important and that uh, we call the absorption of drug so for the enhancement of the ionic drug from the stomach side to the blood side is very important so we can use this donnan membrane equilibrium principle to you uh, to enhance the absorption of drug from the stomach side to the blood side so let's understand the overall principle and how we will uh, calculate or how we will just uh, Uh, present uh, represent the equation for it so first we'll talk about the study behavior of charged particle near a semi permeable membrane it will talk about the study of charged particle near the se- semi permeable membrane that sometimes fail to distribute ion and even uh, ion evenly across the membrane means it will talk about the Uh, ions that is a uh, drug or other pol- macro molecule ion they sometimes uh, unevenly distribute means uh, as we all know the ion get uh, distributed through the membrane till the equilibrium and because of the presence of some uh, non diffusible ion it this process of uh, diffusion uh, we can say this process of distribution become uneven so this behavior behavioral study is called the donnan membrane effect now what is the cause of this uh, uneven distribution of ion so this is because of the presence of different charged substance this is because of the different charged substance uh, now that is the non diffusible ion non diffusible ion because of the presence of non diffusible ion as we all know that the donnan membrane equilibrium is also a electrical property of colloidal dispersion as we all know the colloidal has colloidal are charged particles and they are non diffusible to the membrane so this principle of their charge behavior is used to enhance the absorption of drug substance so presence of this colloidal or charged particle or non diffusible they create the uneven electric charge now if we talk about semi permeable membrane act as a selective barrier act as a selective barrier for the ions and arising electric potential between two phase across membrane and uh, this potential we call donnan potential what we call this potential is called donnan potential if we talk about example large anionic protein in blood plasma large large protein anionic protein in bl- blood plasma not permeable to the capillary wall means it cannot cross from the blood vessels to the capillary wall because of the large size and the small ion can cross can cross the membrane membrane they can cross the membrane now this principle used to enhance the absorption of drug for example if we talk about sodium salicylate and potassium benzyl penicillin so their absorption from stomach side to the blood across the semi permeable membrane can be increased by using the sodium carboxymethyl cellulose sodium carboxymethyl cellulose that is an ionic poly electrolyte and that is non diffusible non diffusible but enhance the absorption of these drug when combined with these drugs but important thing is that the drug is diffusible drug should be diffusible similarly ion exchange resin we will talk about ion exchange resin and other ions what they do they tend to drive drugs from the intestine to the blood stream 
now the next important uh, question uh, that how we calculate or how we uh, describe the equation equilibrium it will talk about the principle of donor membrane equilibrium in a normal body the movement of ion is very simple like sodium chloride and sodium chloride inside and outside here we are writing inside and outside the meaning of inside it means that we are talking about stomach and the outside denoting the blood stream so it is a, in a simple process like uh, both means from the both side the ion transfer of ion will take place now let's consider an example when we are taking sodium carboxymethyl cellulose as a non diffusible poly electrolyte that is indicated by minus r we are indicating it by minus r when take uh, inside it will talk about in git side or inside it will dissociate as r minus and n plus ion and outside means in blood side there is already ion present so sodium and chloride ion already present in our circulation so what will happen when we'll talk about uh, in a normal condition there is not r minus present but in experimental condition there is a non diffusible ion is present so in this process the diffuser uh, the movement of ion process will take place but the r minus will not diffuse to the inside so at the equilibrium what we will get at the equilibrium inside there would be r minus sodium plus and chloride minus and outside sodium and chloride at the equilibrium means the chloride ion will move from outside to inside and sodium ion will move from inside to outside so this process will take place now we can represent it by writing in a uh, formula for inside we will talk about inside the concentration of sodium ion plus will be equal to the concentration of minus ion but inside there is a two minus ion that will maintain the equilibrium r minus plus cl minus so the equation first will be sodium plus inside is equal aapka that is uh, r minus non diffusible inside plus chloride ion inside and it will talk about outside outside there is only sodium and chloride ion will maintain the equilibrium so sodium plus minus uh, so sodium plus outside will be equal to the chloride minus outside equation 2 from the simple equation it will talk about this uh, like uh, when there is a no diffusible material so the common equation we have sodium plus inside into chloride minus inside will be equal to the sodium plus outside and chloride minus outside this is a simple equation equation 3 now if we will put the value of sodium inside and sodium outside here so what the equation we will get here substituting sodium value of sodium so from from here we can just put the value of sodium r minus inside plus chloride minus inside and into that is chloride multiplied by chloride aapka uh, multiplied chloride minus inside so this equation we will get this by substitution we get this equation and here if we will put the value of sodium so what we will get chloride minus outside into chloride minus outside this is a simple equation uh, that is a universal equation and here we are just putting the value what the experiment we did so this is a simple equation now we will multiply of this chloride ion to r1 and chloride ion inside so we will get the equation r1 inside into chloride inside and chloride into chloride will be chloride minus ion square inside and here chloride chloride ion outside will be the chloride minus ion uh, square outside now this Uh, what we can say two ion can be represented as one plus r minus inside and upon cl minus inside. If we will solve this equation, we'll get this the same answer. So we can write to solve 
to just calculate the equilibrium of donor membrane we write this equation like this so then plus your uh, like chloride uh, minus square inside and chloride minus ion square outside now transfer this chloride minus ion uh, minus ion inside square to the out uh, means this uh, from uh, means to the upon of this outside ion so we'll get the equation 1 plus r minus inside chloride ion inside will be equal to the chloride minus ion square outside and upon chloride minus ion inside ka square this chloride minus square is uh, means taken from here now if we will solve this equation the whole square of this chloride ion outside and chloride ion outside we can just make the root so overall if we will talk about the root this uh, square can be transferred here and this the equation will become 1 plus r minus inside upon cl minus inside now this equation 4 is termed as don this represents the donor membrane equilibrium this equation represents to the donor membrane equilibrium now if in place of chloride ion if we are taking drug and it can be represented by minus d or we all know that drug small anion so by putting the value of means chloride in place of chloride ion the value of drug minus d so we will get the equation means here we will put the value of d uh, drug so the equation we will get d outside and d minus inside small anion it will take the drug now we have not taken drug here in this equation and our purpose is to enhance the absorption of drug so if we take this uh, means as a drug so the equation will be 1 plus r minus inside upon chloride minus inside we will get the equation of this now it will talk about the ratio of r minus and chloride ion but by just it is easy to calculate the ratio of this r minus and cl minus for example if we are taking the ratio of this is 8 so by putting the value of this we will get 1 plus 8 will be, will be equal to the work root 9 so this would be the value 3 by putting the value of this we will get the equation 3 d minus inside equal d minus outside what does it indicate it indicates that the absorption of drug can be enhanced threefold if the ratio is taken 8 means if we will increase the quantity of non diffusible ion so it enhances the absorption of drug from the stomach side to the blood side let, let let's consider if we will take the value ratio 99 so what will happen there 1 plus 99 the value would be 100 and the work root of 100 is 10 it means that this indicates that we can increase the absorption of drug tenfold by using the donor membrane equilibrium equation so this was the part of donor membrane effect or donor membrane equilibrium so ultimately we will talk about uh, what kind of question can be asked in examination regarding to the donor membrane effect uh, simply the direct question will uh, means can be asked in examination like what is donor membrane effect or explain donor membrane equilibrium or second how the donor membrane equilibrium is helpful to calculate the absorption for the enhancement of absorption of drug and third uh, questions it, it may be uh, the electrical properties of colloidal dispersion as a donor membrane effect. So thank you and all the best.